afternoon, she left Florida reeling. Now Irma is pounding Georgia. The storm's no longer a hurricane, but still a dangerous force to be reckoned with. Good afternoon. I'm Joe Holden. Jim Donovan is off. And I'm Rahel Solomon. Hurricane Irma is now a tropical storm as it passes from Florida to Georgia. And Florida power is out to thousands and homes and buildings have been leveled by the high winds. Those winds are now about 75 miles per hour, but much of the time yesterday and overnight, the wind speed was twice that. Flooding is also a major concern. Take a look. This is the scene in Jacksonville. Correspondent Mola Lange is in Jacksonville now with the very latest. Irma through most of Florida, but officials in this state stress that the risks are still present and that we are not yet in the clear. Here in Tallahassee, the storm began passing through this morning. Obviously, conditions are wet. We are feeling wind gusts, uh, but and while this is about as bad as it's been, it's certainly not as bad as what others have seen. Historic floodwaters are raging through the streets of downtown Jacksonville. And we have the St. John's River literally bringing white caps. Irma's storm surge has pushed the St. John's River to heights never seen before. It's bad now. It's going to continue to get worse. Nearby Atlantic Beach is also taking a beating from fierce winds and floods. Rain from Irma started falling in Tallahassee Monday morning. Evacuation orders were voluntary here, but from the look of the roads, it seems many people left town. Hurricane Irma made landfall in the Florida Keys early Sunday. This morning, evacuated residents waited in line to get back home. Now we're trying to get in, and unfortunately, they're just not letting us in. Irma weakened as it tracked north, but still punished millions of people along Florida's Gulf Coast. Power is out for about 6 million customers, and at least 200,000 residents are in shelters. In Miami, 100 mile per hour winds snapped at least two construction cranes. Lincoln O'Berry is surprised nearby residents weren't evacuated. These cranes that are 45, 50 stories up, if they fall, they have the potential to go three or four blocks. Cleanup is now beginning in Fort Lauderdale and other areas where Irma hit first. It'll likely be days before the full extent of the damages are added up, but some residents are breathing a sigh of relief that Irma was not the monster storm that many feared. As Irma makes its way out of the state of Florida, obviously, again, risks are still here and new threats for the residents of Georgia. It is under a state of emergency there, and already more than 100,000 people are without power. Back to you. Mola Lenke reporting there in Florida now.